evening. Good evening. I'm Peggy Scott Laborde, and welcome to Stepping Out, spotlighting the New Orleans area's arts and entertainment scene. Seated at our table tonight, Tony Green, gypsy jazz guitarist and visual artist. Good to see you. Yeah, great and to be here. And you'll be playing be well, in a little bit for us. Yeah, too. I'll be Appreciate playing me that. and uh, Daniele Spadovic, yeah, oh, the two right. of us. Wonderful. Yes. Poppy Tooker, so glad she's back, host of the weekly <laughs> program Louisiana Eats on WWNO Radio. And you're feeling much better? I'm great. <laughs> Of course, of course, yes, yes. And Rich Arnold, actor and vocalist starring in Under the Boardwalk at Rivertown Theater. You also directed it, too. Mm -hmm. And this is Rivertown Theaters for the Performing Arts, opening next weekend. And he'll be performing with his three other co-stars a little later. Hey, yes. Rich, welcome to so our glad table. Glad to be here. And Alan Mason, editor of the online Crescent City Jewish News, and, of course, covers the theater scene for us. But first, Poppy, popping up with some purple, green, and gold. That's well, before stuff. the purple, green, yeah, other we stuff have too. to say a big goodbye to a restaurant that so many people loved for so long. One restaurant closed, you know, in the Carrollton Riverbend section. And if you were lucky enough to get a reservation on the 30th or the 31st, it was packed. Everybody who was anybody was there. The food was so delicious. And uh, of course, Lee McCullough, he says he just got married and he says he's leaving to have babies. And I don't know what chef. Scott Snodgrass is doing exactly, mm -hmm. but um, you know we had the last one teeny. We had the last of all. You got yummy some photos too, yeah. don't you? Let's, I don't know where those photos. There yeah, they are. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, they so all. there's the sign. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. here's the deal that I want everybody. Then there's me and Lee. It was so much fun. We had such a good time that night. And then uh, Scott, Chef Scott, working really hard in the kitchen. There's an action shot. And the last of the one teenies, if you oh. ever had one of those, one was not enough. Uh -huh. And uh, and then, of course, just the yummy, yummy food. Now, the inside scoop on it is some guys from New York have bought the restaurant and building. I don't know if it's going to stay one. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be a restaurant. Oh, well, that's good. So that's yeah, good to know. Yeah. And then we would be remiss if we didn't. Before we start with King Cake, say happy birthday to our darling Leah Chase. Leah's going to be 91 years old on Monday, and she <laughs> is still in that kitchen frying chicken, pointing and calling orders and telling people, come on over here and let me hit you. She <laughs> loves to tell me that all the time. <laughs> so anyway, happy birthday, Leah. Yeah, and yeah. then it is time to talk King Cake. Now, for the record, you and I wouldn't eat king cake before Monday, would we? Exactly. And that's why we were so lucky that several bakeries baked these because they're not offering them till Monday. So don't try to rush out and buy these this weekend. And we're going to start off with Maple Street Patisserie, mm -hmm. always one of my favorites mm -hmm. because Ziggy's brioche dough is mm -hmm. so exquisite and you can get all of the different flavors. Wonderful. And then... You know, Megan Rowan at Gracious um, Bakery. She is as elegant as her king cake is. And it's the so... The little dots, huh? It, the little balls. balls it's so balls. unusual with the little purple, green, and gold balls. Oh, it's so cute. Right Isn't there. that darling? <laughs> and then, of course, Sucre. And, you know, there is nothing quite as shiny and spectacular mm -hmm. as that Sucre king cake. And I just have to say that if you're crazy enough to want to attempt this, our good friend Kit Wall, her latest book, New Orleans Classic Celebrations, somehow or another, she sweet-talked Tarek Hanna out of the Sucre king cake recipe. Wow. So if you're really crazy, go get Kit's book and bake the king cake yourself. <laughs> Me. I'll be buying it, <laughs> not the baking. And then the Nola Pie guy. That Nate Winter is the most adorable, and he's so smart, and he's doing something, and this is his Mardi Gras contribution. It's a Zulu chocolate coconut cream cake pie. Mm. And mm. I'll tell you what, that is yummy, and they'll bring them to your house, delivered by Good what? Eggs. That's so, a good idea. And they'll be too. available all through Mardi Gras season. Oh, Poppy, that sounds great. What Thank a lot you. of sweet it talk, smells, huh? It smells <laughs> good here. It smells real good. Thank you so much. And we turn to Tony, and we're very fortunate because he's he's mostly in Venice, but he's from New Orleans, and he comes here. Well, when he my can. heart and soul is always here, and I definitely want to be part of the New Orleans Renaissance that's happening right now. You it's are. exciting what's going on here. You and know? Uh, you are so versatile because you're also very talented. 
visual artist, well, and, we're, and, uh, and you also will be performing this week. But let's show some of your paintings okay. first. Uh, you know, uh, the French Quarter Gallery and Balcony. We'll show that. And ah, French Quarter Balcony. Yeah, that's, I think that was too. Tennessee Williams. Place. It's right, Dumaine and, and yeah, uh, right. Royal. Exactly. Yeah, right. Uh, exactly. Dumaine so, and Rampart are right around. No, no, Rampart. Well, this one then is not. Oh, that's right. Place. He mm -hmm. he lived a, a few different places. He got of around. Course. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. And you've got Bourbon Street. Ah, yeah. This uh, looking straight down. Like the that. Hibernia Bank used to be the tallest building in New Orleans at one time. Mm -hmm. And then the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity, hmm. baby. Yeah. There you are. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nothing but a party. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and you then go. you're playing this weekend. Yeah, we're going to be playing tomorrow morning. Woohoo! 9 a.m. at Covington. Should be nice and warm, huh? Uh -huh. Covington <laughs> Farmers Market. Yes, ma'am. That's so fun. Oh, well, for you, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we'll we'll grin and bear and it. And you're going to be uptown. Gonna be, and then we're going to be next uptown. We're at night tomorrow night. We're going to be at Dos Jefe Cigar Bar at about 10 o'clock after the Saints victory. <laughs> yeah. So, hopefully. Well, Tony, um, you have definitely focused on painting New Orleans, but you also uh, paint Venice and where you live, too, huh? Yes, yeah, I've painted, I've been in Venice 31 years. You know, oh. and uh, but you know, I'm I'm totally connected to New Orleans, and uh, you know, I'm here. Uh, I've got all sorts of things. I might be doing a book, oh, and great. with my paintings in it, and uh, also you know, might be doing some more mural commissions and things like that. So as I say, you know, I'm, I want to be part of this great renaissance that's happening in the city right and now. And you represented locally, local yeah, by Callen. Callen Fine Arts, Stephen Callen, on the corner of uh, Bienville and Charter Street, 240 Charters, and uh, they have a whole room there dedicated to my paintings. Wh whoa, so, that's practically like having a museum. Well. I I, I want to stay alive. So I, don't want to be, <laughs> I tell people buy before I die, but I'm not feeling too well. So you better. Yeah. You know. Well, tell us what, you, uh, what you're going to play for us. I'm going to play with Daniele Spadavecchio. He's a very talented guy from Italy, uh, from Viareggio, where the great float makers oh, come oh, from. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, Daniele left us for a while, but he decided to come back, and he's going to be with us, part of the uh, New Orleans Renaissance. So we're going to do okay. a tune called Molly Femina, which means bad girl. Okay. Well, let's <laughs> Get up and do that. And we're so glad we get to have Tony with us Isn't because it's funny? been a rare, rare treat. But um, some people also may remember his uh, murals at the Rock and Bowl. Mm -hmm. That's very much a part of it. And also, uh, let's see, Ralph's on the Park. Beautiful Ralph's <laughs> on the Park, too. So he is absolutely everywhere. Are we ready? Okay, proceed, sirs. <laughs> Se avessi fatta nato, che lo che ha fatta a me, che sto ma avesse acciso, tu vuoi sapere perché, perché ecco pasta terra, femmele come a te, non c'è una sta per nome, onesta come a me, femmele. Tu sei una mala femmina, chi sto chi ha fatto chiangere, lacrime infamità, chi sto chi ha fatto chiangere, lacrime infamità, femmina, si tu peggio una vipera, ma ha tossicato la mamma, non posso più capa, ma ha tossicato la mamma, non posso più capa, femmina, si tu te come zucchero, Però sta faccia d'angelo te serve per ingannare. Femmina, si voglio bella femmina, te voglio bene Tadio, non te posso
occhi ha fatto chiagnere Lacrime infamità, chi sto occhi ha fatto chiagnere Lacrime infamità, femmana Se tu per cena vipera Ma non si cato l'anama Non posso più cana, ma non si cato l'anama Non posso più cana, femmana Si doce come zucchero Però sta faccia d'angelo Serve per ingannare, femmina, si trovi bella femmina, te voglio per l'Italia, non te posso scordare, te voglio per l'Italia, non te posso scordare. And now we turn to Mr. Allen for well, the theater beat. We do. We, I wanted to mention that for those of you who have followed the TV misadventures of four elderly Miami women in NBC's The Golden Girls, well, there's a little bit of deja vu in the air lingering at the Mid-City Theater. For those who remember the very funny situation comedy that starred B. Arthur, and Betty White, Rue McClanahan, and Estelle Getty, well, that material will be presented again as part of The Golden Girls, now running through January the 18th. Varla Jean Merman, Sean Patterson, Brooklyn Schaefer, and and Ricky Graham are all doing many of the roles that we've come to know and love, and a couple of other of the roles are being done by Brian Johnson and Jefferson Turner. The three TV scripts that they have are the actual TV scripts from the Golden Girls, and they're redoing it completely, but they have cut away commercials, some for fake ads, and then, of course, some commercials that you're not going to ever believe were real, but are really real commercials. <laughs> and the action is going to center basically on the men dressing and portraying the women's roles, but they're all great. I mean, Varla G. Merman has made a career out of, of doing this. Of course, Ricky Graham last year was uh, singled out for doing uh, Shirley Valentine, and Edna Turnblad, we may remember, was the role that <laughs> oh, Sean yes. Patterson did in Hairspray. So they've all got qualifications, uh, and I don't have to say that Brooklyn Schaefer has been doing the running with scissors gags all these many, many years, so they're all eminently qualified to do this. And the situation, uh, you know, of all the comedy in there is it's just so hysterical, gloriously funny. It's a show that you're going to have a hard time getting a ticket to because they're completely sold out this week. They were almost all sold out last week. They are selling tickets for next week. So keep that in mind. It's going to continue at the Mid-City Theater. The Golden Girls, don't miss it. Now, for those of you who don't recognize the name, Alice Ripley. She is one of the great, great Broadway actresses for the last 25 years. She won a Tony Award in 2009 for her portrayal of Diana Goodman, the mentally disturbed woman in Next to Normal. Some of you may remember that last year that they, they just did that this past year. Well, before her Tony Award, however, she had received critical acclaim as one of the conjoined Hilton sisters in Sideshow, oh, the Broadway sure. musical. And, and of course, she played the original role of Betty Schaefer on Broadway in Sunset Boulevard and uh, had been Fontaine for a while in Le Miserable and was also Janet Weiss in the 2000 revival of Rocky Horror Picture Show. She's going to be accompanied by Seth Rudetsky on the piano of Sirius XM Satellite Radio fame. He'll be on the piano keys and also interviewing her on the mic. And again, that'll be this Monday night, Alice Ripley for the Broadway at NOCA series. It should be fascinating. Also coming up at the Elm Theater, one of the most interesting presentations back in 2009 that I remember seeing at the Fringe Festival was none other than La Concierge Solitaire. This was Cécile Montaigne playing the uh, character of a woman who is a concierge alone in a hotel, no guests left, all shuttered, but she imagined these guests that were now occupying the empty rooms. And it was a wonderful one-woman show. She reacts, wonderful. A lady named Helen Jacks, uh, who was the dramaturge, took this on the road for one other production that they did. But this was written originally by Andrew Ferrier and Matthew Morris. They are remounting it at the Elm Theater, coming up very shortly uh, this next week. And I wanted to mention that it's produced by James Lanius at the Elm Theater. Again, uh, those of you who want to see some really fascinating, quirky theater, this should be wonderful. A brand new iteration of, of a very strange but wonderfully wonderful uh, presentation that they did the last time, and I'm sure they say it's even better now. Last uh, uh, on, on the uh, program that I want to mention uh, coming up right now is, is uh, something of a musical in nature. Uh, we have two th programs that are coming up. Harold Arlen, the wonderful music oh, of Harold Arlen, wow. Come Rain or Come Shine. For those of you who have, have <laughs> listened to the lecture series done by George Dansker, they know how wonderful he is. Last year he took us down uh, the memory lane with Irving Berlin and his songs. Well, now he's going to take the Yellow Brick High Road to tell us all about Harold Arlen, the songwriter who somewhere oh. over the rainbow has recently been voted 
voted the number one song of the last century. Not only was Arlen responsible for all the music from The Wizard of Oz, but he was one of the top contributors to the Great American Songbook with songs like It's Only a Paper Moon, Stormy Weather, I've Got the World mm. on a String, and Accentuate the Positive, which he wrote with Johnny Mercer. So uh, they're going to have Taylor Miller, who's the baritone, uh, coupled with Gian Moniz Swinley, who is going to be the soprano, and they're going to sing, accompanied by Jesse Reeks on the piano. And of course, George is going to tell us all about Harold Arlen's life from when he became a uh, immigrant uh, from Russia, uh, coming to the shores of the United States, and of course being one of the uh, preeminent uh, composers of song. Again, that'll be at Turo Synagogue, following their services next uh, Friday night, and uh, it'll be at 4238 St. Charles Avenue. Showtime should be around 7.15. And the other uh, musical uh, numbers I wanted to mention, Cabaret, something that is uh, really essentially the whole story about taking lemons and making lemonade, because what happened was Jonathan Maris Productions was getting ready to uh, produce a, a show called Farragut North. It was going to have a whole bunch of wonderful stars. I was really looking forward to seeing it. Unfortunately, a couple of the stars had to drop out. They had to kind of figure out what to do. They had already run to the space at the Always Theater. So guess what? They're now presenting the Queens of King. This is going to be a Carol King retrospective with the mm. music of, and of, of obviously the singer and songwriter mm -hmm. Carol King, but done by Two of our great, great uh, interpreters of song for Cabaret, Lisa Picconi and Dorian Rush. Dorian oh, Rush, you boy. may remember, did Janis Joplin a few yeah. years ago. And of course, Lisa did Lisa Sings Lee, and she did the Peggy Lee show. So the two of them are already planning what should be a fabulous show of Carol King classics like A Natural Woman, You've Got a Friend, Look Over Yonder, Up on the Roof, and Will You Love Me Tomorrow. So All it should right. be great. Thank you, <laughs> Alan. And we're talking about great lyrics and great songs. And Rich, you've compiled quite a few of them for this production coming up, huh? Yes, I'm the director of Under the Boardwalk. It's a new musical original review playing at Rivertown Theaters. It opens next Thursday. It runs through January 25th. And what it is, it's, uh, it celebrates some of the greatest songs ever written from the 1950s and 60s. Uh, we have a live band and we feature some of the famous harmonies of the Four Seasons, the Beach Boys, and Doo-Wop and Motown. Very good. Mm -hmm. And you, you just kind of came up with the idea? It was actually created as a vehicle to showcase the best hits of an um, original vocal quartet that I created with my friend Casey Marino. Um, and it's marketed towards the casino and corporate and hospitality industries. And so it's actually modeled after a company that we performed with when we were living in New York City. All right, and so you are performing for us tonight. Uh. I am, yes. Yeah, we're going to do two numbers for you. The first one is a classic doo-wop number called uh, Blue Moon. All right, well, let's mm -hmm. you get ready? up and get All ready right. for that as well. And uh, Blue from... Moon was done by the Marcells originally <coughs> back in the 50s. But, oh, really? But, uh, that we remember, but it was actually uh -huh. back in the 30s that it was originally done. It was, uh, uh, I think, Rogers and Hart. And we will let, let's see, Rich also uh, introduce everybody before you begin, too, please. Yes. The Vicky Z Buddies are comprised of Mark Fushi, Peter Elliott, and Frank Von Hoven. Okay, and we'll have you do that one more time. There you go, one more time. Do that, please, for us. Enjoy. Mark Fushi, Peter Elliott, and Frank Von Hoven are here. All right, tonight. please begin, gentlemen. Okay. Bump up a bump a bump a bump bump up a bump up a bump a bang a dang dang a ding a dong ding blue moon 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 blue moon dit 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 moon 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 blue moon dit 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 moon 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 blue moon dit 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 bump up a bump a bump a bump bump up a bump up a bump a dang a dang dang a ding a dong ding blue moon you saw me standing alone without a dream in my heart. Without a love of my own. Dang a dang dang a ding a dong ding blue moon. You knew just what I was there for. You heard me say it in a prayer for someone I really could care for. And then there suddenly appeared before me the only one my arms would ever hold. And then somebody whispered, please adore me. And when I looked, the moon had turned to gold. Blue moon. Now I'm no longer alone without a dream in my heart. Without a 
for our artist spotlight and tonight we are featuring Blue Studio West by John Clemmer. Born on a plantation in Donaldsonville in 1921, Clemmer relocated with his family to New Orleans when he was seven. With a scholarship to the New Orleans Art School, he studied under Paul Ninas, Enrique Alferes and other notables. He enjoyed a 35-year tenure with Tulane University and Newcomb College in his current exhibit nine years later opens tomorrow evening with a reception from 6 to 8 p.m. at Lemieux Galleries on Julia Street. It's on view through February 22nd. Visit LemieuxGalleries.com for more information. Just a reminder that you can check out Stepping Out's online calendar at WYES.org. And New Orleans Magazine's quiz queen, Julia Street, has a question for us. Last time, Gary Von Vonderen gave us the names of two of the three red streetcar lines in New Orleans, the Riverfront, Canal Street, and Loyola would be all the right answers. Now, tonight's question. In addition to the Saints' playoff opponent this weekend, name two other NFL teams named after birds. Mm -hmm. Email your answers to steppingout at wyes.org. Our prizes, a Louisiana Life magazine subscription, a gift certificate for Vianne's Tea House, offering their culinary and gourmet tea experience for two. Tonight, we have a long-sleeved ladies' t-shirt as worn by WYES camera person Mary Maurice. From our friends at wearablevegetables.com, the message, life's a breeze. All right, <laughs> check out wearablevegetables.com. We have a book. Christmas in New Orleans by John McGill and me. And Louisiana Eats by Poppy Tooker. Yay! Both published by Pelican. And now our picks, Poppy. If you've ever eaten at Gramercy Tavern in New York City, you'll know how special next Friday night, Restaurant August, they're going to be cooking the two chefs together, Michael Anthony and John Besh. Wow. Signed cookbooks, <laughs> five course dinner, Gramercy Tavern in Restaurant Shh, August. That's a real coup. That's a pick. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Tony. Wanted to mention our your good friend Daniele and his information. Ah, Daniele Sparavec, yeah, one of the great musicians that's here in New Orleans, bringing in that European music here. Hire this man. <laughs> there yeah. you go. There's his website. Thank you, Tony. It's great to see you. Yeah, pleasure, and pleasure. And Alan. I think that Southern Repertory is going to be having uh, somebody uh, on their stage this uh, coming Friday <laughs> we'll uh, at the new that. play yes. Bacchanal. Uh -huh. This is going to be at the Mary Opera House, and and again, it's going to be presented with uh, Southern Rep and Tennessee Williams uh, New Orleans Literary Festival. Festival. And again, I think everything's going to be at the uh, Maroney Opera House at 725 St. Ferdinand Street, but then they're going to have a closing party, I think, at the toga party at the uh, Shadowbox Theater. That okay. should be it. Okay? All right, great. Thank you. And before we go to my picks, I wanted to share some photos from the Roosevelt Hotel's lobby during the holiday season. And, you know, you can see the elegant light-filled lobby, and it is so beautiful going in there. But also in their coffee shop was a candy village, including San Francisco, and that is definitely Deborah Hyde, the pastry chef. All of this was candy. Remember the Neckos? Neckos? Yes. That is San Francisco Plantation. And they also did, well, many of them. But that is Ocala, it, complete with oaks. So kudos oh, to uh, Deborah Hyde for that. And now my picks. Don't miss the Funny 40 Fellows streetcar ride this Monday, January 6th, to kick off the carnival season. Visit Funny40Fellows.com to see the route and learn more. And guitarist Robert Eustace kicks off his open mic night next Thursday at 7 p.m. at the Fair Grinds Coffee House. That's on Ponce de Leon. They'll continue on the second Thursday of every month. And as Alan mentioned, it is picked the new play series Bacchanal is next weekend. I will be appearing in Grand Doms of New Orleans next Friday at 7 p.m. Nell Nolan, Trixie Minx, Janet Duvall, Francine Siegel are among the cast members. And Greg Heron wrote this send up, a local version of the cable Housewives of Reality series. Uh, That's going to be a lot of fun. Also next weekend, 5 by 10 is part of this. That will be Saturday, January 
January 11th at 8 p.m. Both shows will be performed at the Marini Opera House and, and visit southernrep.com to click on order tickets for all of that. And as there's that reception that you mentioned, after Grand Dames, it's just $20 extra with tickets at the door. And so in just a moment, we're going to go to Under the Boardwalk, guys. But I just wanted to say that the folks who decorated the hotels this year for the holiday season, thank you, thank you, because there's nothing like Christmas in New Orleans and FrenchQuarterFestivals.com with all the great things they did. So thank you, thank you. And now, though, it's time for Under the Boardwalk folks singing Surfer Girl. Thank you for watching. Good night. No. Oh. Oh. Surfer girl, my little surfer girl, I have watched you on the shore, standing by the ocean's roar. Do you love me? Do you, surfer girl, surfer girl, surfer girl? Spontaneity, we love it. And so <laughs> I say from me to you, I will make your dreams come true. Do you love me? Do you surfer? Girl, surfer, girl, my little surfer girl. Girl, surfer girl, my little surfer girl. Girl, surfer girl, my little surfer girl. Girl, surfer girl, my little surfer. Hey. <laughs>